Hi guys, um, I'm in my garden again, it's Saturday midday-ish and um, I wanted to give you an update on how my week went with Ignatia Amara, the homeopathic remedy that was given to me. Um, so I'm going to try and keep it brief because um, a lot happened in my week um, and I've just started a new remedy today um, so another video will be coming up on that. Uh, things are moving quickly and changing a lot at the moment, so I'm trying to keep up <laughs> and I'm feeling a bit kind of weak and strange today, so bear with me on the whole kind of slow calm that um, that you might be experiencing today. So um, I started taking it on the Monday and um, within a couple of hours, literally that afternoon, um, I started feeling these really strange sensations in my arms and my hands and pretty much a bit more all over my body. It wasn't just in those areas. Um, it was kind of this numbness, kind of almost too relaxed. Um, didn't really know what was happening and I wasn't sure whether it was um, me taking... Um, kombucha with a tiny bit of alcohol in you know um, that kind of it's kind of that feeling where almost like when you're a bit tipsy or a bit drunk like everything's just like but I really felt it all the way down to my fingertips um, so but then I stopped drinking the rest of the week kombucha and the other fermented drinks and that sensation was still happening so it must be Ignatia Amara that was doing it. Um, another way of saying was that maybe I kind of felt like my limbs were slightly out of control, um, almost like they were dizzy or something. Um, something else is I was waking up nearly every day throughout the week with headaches, um, going all the way down my spine probably down to like two thirds of my spine. Um, so I had a really stiff neck and upper shoulders and it started on the right side and then kind of moved to the left and and it's kind of, it's quite hard even now to turn my head to the right and to the left, I can feel it pulling. Um, and that's probably not relating to the homeopathy. Um, it's probably just relating, I imagine, to the kind of overall tension that I've been feeling um, since before Christmas and going through the, the reduction of medication and just kind of living through that and it's kind of come out in those areas of my body. Uh, Michel, the um, homeopath man, said to me that um, the dosage that were, would affect me most would be on Friday, which was my birthday, when it was kind of more in this area of my body rather than further down. And um, he was definitely right. <laughs> um, so I remember feeling really anxious in the morning and kind of a strange, tense feeling in my body. And I kind of felt like I had to speak about something that was really important. Even though I didn't really have anything in mind, I just kind of felt like I had to start talking, um, whatever it was about. And um, we ended up talking about money in the car on the way to work. And um, um, it was just kind of a, it's a, you know, it's a tense thing for us at the moment and uh, it was a, the talk didn't go as <laughs> very well basically, you know, we weren't really angry with each other or anything, it was just, um, you know, he could feel my, my, um, what's the word, he could feel my emotions and it just, it wasn't, wasn't going to work but anyway I got to work and um, my lovely friend gave me a huge hug as she always does whenever I see her and um, and usually they're quite long hugs and, um, and then after a while I just started sobbing in her arms and it just kind of came out and, um, and I was holding these bags so Robin took one bag and then someone else took another bag off me and I was literally kind of paralyzed while I was crying <laughs> Um, and um, yeah that carried on a little while obviously we stopped hugging and um, but I just after all of that I felt really really exhausted totally spent um, kind of hollow kind of used up 
um, I had nothing to give, that kind of feeling when you've cried a lot. Um, I found it really difficult to carry on with my day. Uh, I've, there wasn't any smiles in me that day and I was just literally just kind of trying to cope with um, what was going on inside me. Um, yeah, that night I just wanted to go to bed. I was so tired. <laughs> Um, Saturday morning I felt loads better emotionally but still very constipated, kind of hard in my stomach, heavy, sluggish um, and yeah I hadn't, things hadn't been moving down below at all really that week, not very much and um, that was proving to be difficult. Um, I talked a long time with Robin about my gut problems and my medication um, and it was a very kind of fruitful conversation about, you know, the next steps forward. Um, what am I going to do next? What are we going to do next to kind of help me on my journey to healing? So that was really kind of productive and, and interesting to kind of speak openly about that because we don't do it very often. <laughs> on that day, it was my daughter's party, her birthday party. And I was able to kind of join in with some of the party games and I was running around and like making a real effort even though I felt heavy and sluggish just to kind of join in and like yeah come on <laughs> let's bounce around even though it feels difficult um, and then um, it was suggested um, that maybe I should try psyllium husk uh, so I bought some at the pharmacy straight away that day before I got home and um, started taking it um, and I used a whole tablespoon with a, um, a pint of water and then drank lots afterwards um, so I did that three times a day basically for a while just to get things moving and it did help um, so that's good um, Sunday we all went skiing with the family and um, that was really cool I felt spoilt by my family and um, it was just um, you know lots of physical activity and I carried on longer than the others just because I was enjoying it so much and um, you know I didn't feel like I had any effects of um, um, the Ignatia Amara or anything like that I was just really enjoying my day um, the end of the day wasn't so great but um, that's for another reason <laughs> which I won't talk about here um, oh Monday I'm saying I was still constipated I had a really nervous morning um, before going for a meeting um, for me trying to get a job in town um, but it all went fine and I didn't have to worry but it's kind of been building up um, for weeks you know writing my CV and writing a letter of motivation like a cover letter and you know like that was the moment and I was like right I've got, I've got to give a good impression and come on let's let's go for it I can do this <laughs> um, and strangely um, later on in the day I felt really tired, which isn't strange for me, but I had this weird sensation where, um, so if this is my stomach, okay, <laughs> um, kind of this part of it here um, felt really, really cold, even though the rest of my body was warm. So it was a very, very strange feeling. Um, and it's like it was like really blocked or cut off and like that warmth wouldn't go to that area very odd. And now for a nice thing that happened. Um, I was sitting here under this tree over there um, one morning, which I'm doing quite a lot these days, just coming outside as much as I can um, for more grounding. Um, I was sitting there peacefully with my head slightly up like this and um, I had this kind of visualisation where I had this kind of elongated spiral um, in front of me like this. And then it, it went from anti-clockwise, swiveled, turned to clockwise, and then um, I could just see it kind of corkscrewing away from me. Um, and that's something I haven't really seen before. And I felt to me like that was a positive thing. Like um, for me, a circle is a closed um, thing that doesn't have a beginning or an end. It's kind of, um, it doesn't have any forward motion for me. Um, it just keeps on going and you keep the same cyclical pattern whereas a spiral's open and I feel like okay this is going somewhere <laughs> um, so 
for me, that was um, a nice moment. And then on Tuesday night, I think I'm going back in time now. Uh, yeah, I am going back in time. I had a, a horrible nightmare uh, where someone was kind of coming after me, trying to murder me. So that was really unpleasant. And um, Robin said that I was like moving my arms around in bed and then I woke up screaming basically. And I haven't had a nightmare like that in a really long time. So that was a bit, a bit scary and really adrenalating and it took me ages to go back to sleep again after that in fact maybe I didn't I don't know that could have been when I woke up oh that was my birthday day on Friday I woke up at 4 30 in the morning and couldn't get back to sleep again and that was a different day so yeah it's all been very up and down a bit crazy um, and there's lots more I want to talk to you about but I'll do that on separate videos um, so yeah that's what's been going with me <laughs> quite intense I'd say um, living to the max <laughs> not always great but hey that is life <laughs> I'll see you again soon bye